Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Sean. And don't just sit there, tiddlywinks. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? We're going to make a big mess. Do you like making a mess? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. But Rachel. Oh, that's the way. Into strips. Lots of strips. Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Rebecca. Yes, with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. Hello, sweet cheeks. Come on, dude. Wow, what a mess. <laughs> it is. It's a fun mess. <laughs> Looks like you've had a bird in here and there are feathers all over the place. Feathers? The very one. Well, now Rebecca's here, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a cockatoo? Good idea. <laughs> and we can perch ourselves over by the chairs. So, what are you going to do with all these bits of paper? Well, we're going to make something out of paper mashy with Rebecca. Oh, great. So, what is it going to be exactly? Oh, well, I don't know. We're just going to make a wonderful, gorgeous mess. And out of the mess will come... Well, who knows? After all, some of the greatest inventions have been discovered by accident. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be making a mess today. I'm going to be doing something with great precision. Oh, and what precisely are you going to do? I'm going to be showing my class how to make a beautiful, wonderful, scrumptious painting. With this. Oh, that looks interesting. What is it? It's a cockatoo. Oh, a cockatoo too. <laughs> Just like Claude. That's right. But it's all black and white with numbers all over it. Oh, yes. That's because I'm going to be showing the class how to paint by numbers. You see, each of these numbers is a colour. Number one, that's yellow. I see. Number two, that's red. You know, I'd better get off to school. There's so much to get ready. Oh, look at poor Claude. <laughs> wow. Oh, you look brilliantly feathered, Claude. Oh, he looks amazing. Well done, you guys. <laughs> oh, my very own feather. Oh, well, I better not wear it like this to school. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Bye. See you later. Ooh. Come on, Mickey John. <laughs> Remember, some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. On my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple! Hello, walls! Hello, people! He's on his way to work today Loving his way and it is our way Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! OK, that way! Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. You show me the way I know. Here I am. 
Now what? Thanks. I need to put my tie on. All dressed and ready to go. Hello there. Oh, Dr Juno, what are you doing here? Well, I've come to see the headmaster. We both go to the same evening art class. Oh, arty. <laughs> well, we've sort of become buddies. I wanted to show him some of the paintings I'd be doing at home. Oh, well, I'd love to see your paintings. Oh, would you? Yes. Uh, I'm a bit of an artist too, you know. Oh. This is one of a sunset over the Fingal. Oh, it's very good. Interesting colours. I wanted to capture the way the setting sun changes the colour of everything against the sky. Oh, and in this one... Oh, very impressive. Oh, thank you. My artwork's not quite of your sort. Oh? No, no, I'm more of the school of a tree looking like, well, a tree. For example, here's my picture of a cockatoo with numbers. Now, the children will use the numbers to help get their colours exactly right. Oh, so their pictures will look like yours? Exactly. Oh, I do hope to inspire the children with their artwork. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, yes. Van Gogh, Picasso, Mickey John. Oh, well, right. Um, well, I'd better go and show Edgar my paintings. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know Mr Grant's name was Edgar. <laughs> well, you learn something new every day. Well, I hope so. Bye, Dr Juno. <laughs> Bye. Enjoy the painting. <sighs> I wonder how my little cockatoo's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. That's it, my darlings, lead it on. Who knows what we're making, but we're just letting our creative juices flow. Uh -huh. Now pop that in and get nice and gooey. Some paper granny money. I wonder if your dad's being as creative today as we are, Rebecca. I love you, Daddy. Right, class, we're going to start the day with some quick counting, starting with me. So when I point you out, call out the next number. Up to ten and back down again. Quickly. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ah, oh, that was really good. Well done, everyone. Well, you're counting certainly up to scratch. Now it's time to get down to some hard work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. To count and teaching to read, learn about birds and plants and seeds, playing games and sports outdoors, blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. Oh, the secretary smiling as she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want to enjoy when I go to school in the morning. Right, everyone, there's the bell. Now, after lunch, we're going to have an art class, and I'm going to teach you all how to create your very own piece of art. So, see you after lunch. Right, I'm going to sort these paints out. <laughs> Right. Hmm. Number one, yellow. <laughs> hiya. Oh, hi, Tina. What are you up to? Oh, well, I've just brought some children back to school in my taxi. They'd been to the dentist, so I thought I'd just pop in and see what you get up to in your lunch break. Oh, Tina, this is your lucky day. 
Behold, art in the making. Really? I'm painting a cockatoo. Oh, fantastic. Two. Red. You see, I've marked the numbers on the pictures and I've marked the numbers on the paint pots as well. That's really fascinating, Mickey John. But um, I really ought to be back at work by now. Oh, can't you stay a bit longer? I haven't finished the painting yet. Oh, sorry, but um, it was wonderful to watch an artist at work. <laughs> yeah, bye. Oh, well. Hmm. Now, what number next? <laughs> ah, I wonder how my little bird is getting on. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, look, my darlings. Do you see the birds? Yeah. Oh, look at that wee one over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the beautiful colours. What colours can you see? Red. Yellow feathers, too, do you see? And blue. Oh, blue. They're called cockatoos. I bet your dad would love to hear all about these birds later, Rebecca. Yeah. What are you doing now, Daddy? And uh, number six, that's blue. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh look, what a mess! Oh help! Oh no, look at my beautiful, perfect cockatoo! Oh, if the children can't see how I painted the cockatoo by numbers, how are they going to know what to do? I've been working hard to paint a beautiful, perfect picture, and now it's a mess! What happened? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. The children were having great fun ripping up newspapers and making a mess. Then they just clawed as a cockatoo. He looked brilliant. I showed Granny Murray my drawing of a cockatoo and explained how I was going to show the children how to paint by numbers. At eight o'clock, Dr Juno popped into school to see the headmaster. She showed me the painting she had done. They were brilliant, but very different from my cockatoo. At nine o'clock, the children practiced their counting. At 12 o'clock, I told the children I would give them an art lesson later and decided to organise my paints and get some painting done. Tina popped in to see me and I showed her how I was creating a painting by numbers work of art. At one o'clock, I realised I would have to hurry to get my painting finished in time for afternoon school, but I spilled some paint and now my painting is ruined. How can I teach the children about painting when my painting is such a mess? Now remember, some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Of course. I spilled blue and yellow paint on my painting and I created green paint. The children will be far more fascinated in that than in my cockatoo paint by numbers. Ah, I'm going to discover how many other colours I can make by mixing paint and it's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Yes, we should be our friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, look at these. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be a very colourful cock too, isn't it? Oh, yes. This is gonna be a work of art. Yeah. Now, that's what I call a real bird of paradise. The children have done a great job of painting those feathers. <laughs> I wonder what my little Rebecca would make of this. This is my favourite thing, Granny Murray. Is it, my darling? Well, look what we've done. Out of all that wonderful mess, we've made some beautiful cockatoo hats. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty Polly. <laughs> Is that funny? Mm. <laughs> oh, I think your dad would be proud to see what we've done, eh, Rebecca? He'll be here to pick you up soon. Mickey 
John, come away. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Oh, yes. you bet we have. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Save the day. Well, I never did. <laughs> Come on now, you'd better be off me. Eh? Off we go. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a cockatoo because we had been ripping up lots of paper and Mickey John thought it looked a bit like feathers. Mickey John showed me a drawing he had done of a cockatoo too. It was black and white and covered in numbers. Mickey John told me each number matched a colour and he was going to teach the children how to paint the perfect picture by numbers. Later on, the children and I had great fun making messy paper mashy with all the newspaper we had ripped up. We stuck it on some balloons. Then we went to the park to meet the cockatoos and had great fun pretending that we were cockatoos. When Mickey John collected Rebecca, he told me that he had remembered what I told him, that some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. He said it had saved the day. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Taharia and we've got Lucy. But don't just sit there, puppets. Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> There's my wee lady all ready to be glued. Let's get these skaters skating. Clever girl. Okay, put your magnet underneath. Wow, is that not so exciting? <laughs> well, we've got Taharia and we've got Lucy, but someone's missing from home today. Oh. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? Oh, it's Kai with Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, Hi, hello, hello. and Kai, my pickle. Come on, we Oh, you've missed the ice skating sausage, but never mind, you can have a wee shot later on. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, Granny Murray, Kai really wants to watch the ice skating on telly later, don't you, Kai? Oh, do you like ice skating? Yeah. Wow! Listen, darlings, why don't you dress Claude up as an ice skater? Hey, and maybe we could skate off over there. Oh, woo! woo. <laughs> <laughs> so, what time does the ice skating start then? Eight o'clock. Oh, right, I must try and remember that. Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. No need to remember, Granny Murray. Here. Oh, an alarm clock, clever girl. It's all set to go off when the ice skating starts. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, no, it's still ringing. This is impossible. Oh, don't worry, my darling. Nothing's impossible when you know how. Now, what time did you say the ice skating started? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. There we are. All sorted. Now, Kai won't miss the ice skating. Normal Claude. <laughs> <gasps> oh, wow. It looks like you're all ready to slide off across the ice, Claude. <laughs> Give Mum a wee kiss goodbye, darling. What's this? Oh, it's Kai's favourite toy car, but it, it doesn't work anymore, does it, Kai? Oh, no, what a shame. I tell you what, I'm going to take this to work with me and I'll see if I can fix it for you. Hey, give us a kiss. Bye-bye. See you in the morning. Bye. <laughs> Come on. 
the apron. Nothing is impossible when you know how. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way Okay, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. I look in this way and that away. Oh, hello, digger. Hello, drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, train. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! Okay, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way. Thanks for that. Right, what's first? That's right, I need to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, oh look at that big patch of oil. Well, I'd better get that cleaned up before I start to clean me buses. Hi, Bobby! Oh, Mickey J! Just thought I'd slip round. <laughs> so, what's up? Well, I nearly was up in the air with that patch of oil. But actually, I came to ask you if you wanted to buy a Spanaman keyring. Oh, wow. They look great. But why are you selling them? To raise money for the school photography club's trip abroad. All oh, right. Well, they are so cool. Kai would love one of them. How much are they? One pound. Bargain. Right, come with me and I'll get you some money. <gasps> there you go. Thanks, Bobby. Jay, I've heard that you're really, really good at mending things. Well, you know, not bad. Would you ever go at fixing Kai's favourite toy car for me? Well, sure. I'll start to clean up that patch of oil. Sure. Well, I, I give it a go anyway. Thank you. You're my hero. <sighs> sprinkle, sprinkle, little star. <laughs> well, that should soak up the oil. I'll come and sweep it up later. So, um, have you managed to fix Kai's toy car? Uh, well, not quite. Sorry, Bobby. I have to get home. I have to get the uh, lessons ready for tomorrow, but uh, good luck with the uh, car. Bye. Bye. Oh, look. Kai's car's in pieces. Mind you, it's eight o'clock, so I guess you're watching the ice skating on the telly now, Kai. Skaters are fantastic, aren't they, Kai? Would you like a wee shot of skating up and down Granny Murray's floor? Oh, brilliant! Give us a twirl! Give us a twirl! Whee! Oh, ten! <laughs> Top score! Well done, my angel. You'll have to show Mum some of those moves. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. I will fix your car, Kai, if it is the last thing I do. But there are buses to clean first. Oh. May I have the next dance? <laughs> Hello, Raymundo. What are you up to? I'm raising money for Mickey John's school. Would you like to buy a spanner man? Oh, no, I just bought one of them off Mickey John. They're all different. Each one is unique. Oh. 
Okay, Raimundo, I will buy one off you just as soon as I've cleaned up this patch of leaky oil. I don't know where it keeps coming from. Oil be glad to wait. There you go. Right, come on. Da 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 There you go. Thank you, Raymond. My pleasure. See ya. See ya. Right, time to get on with some work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the buses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Cleaning while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in bed, gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. Lining up all shining, they'll be leaving for the day ahead. Ready to dazzle the day away, swinging to the city looking pretty and radiant. The hubcaps gleam, the paintwork shines. A river sea double decker looks so fine. The driver she drives, collecting the fares. Leaving then arriving, she will get you there. This boss is stopping from picking up the pudding down. This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town. And Bobby Boogie Woogie slipping over, flipping under. Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder. Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. Bobby walks the moonwalk as she rubs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses So they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead This oil is a right nuisance There, now I can get back to cleaning my buses <laughs> Hello Bobby <laughs> slipped in some oil. I know, I'm sorry about that, Tina. I keep cleaning it up and it keeps coming back. Huh. Ugh, not to worry. Now, I'm helping to raise money for the school funds. Oh, not you too. Me too. <laughs> well, I've already bought two spanner men. Oh, no, I'm not selling them. I just want to put up this poster to advertise them in one of the buses. Oh, sure, yeah, well, that'd be fine. And while you do that, I'll clean up this patch of oil again. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect spot. <laughs> Everyone will see it there, and hopefully we'll sell out of the spanner men. <laughs> Thanks very much for that, Bobby. Bye, Tina. <sighs> oh, I think Kai's gonna love those spanner men. Thanks, my darling. Look, they're pulled together by magnets. No, it's like magic. You hold the skater and I'll hold the board. Ready? Put it on. That's us. Now you hold underneath. And can you make her dance? Ooh, wow! Lovely moves. Whee, up she goes. Oh, she did a twirl. Fabulous. I bet your mum wishes she could go ice skating with us. Well, you don't know, Mummy. I really want to mend your car, but I suppose I'd better leave it for a while and try again later. Better clean up the rest of that oily sand first. Oh, more oil. I don't believe it. Where is it coming from? Oh, do you know, all I want to do is fix Kai's car, clean my buses and have a quiet life. But all this leaky oil keeps getting in my way. Oh, what is going wrong? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's. The children dressed up Claude as an ice skater. I told Granny Murray that Kai wanted to watch the ice skating on telly this evening. At seven o'clock, I got to work. Mickey John popped in and slipped over on some oil on the depot floor. He was selling some special spanner men to raise money for the school. They were brilliant and made with odd bits and pieces. I bought one and asked Mickey John to mend Kai's car while I cleaned up the oil. At eight o'clock, Mickey John rushed off, leaving Kai's car in pieces. At nine o'clock, I slipped on another patch of oil on the floor. 
Raymond caught me and asked me to dance. He was selling Spanamen too, so I bought another one. At 10 o'clock, I slipped on more oil. So did Tina. It was like we were ice skating. Tina put up a poster in the bus to advertise the Spanamen and I started to clean up the oil again. At 11 o'clock, I tried to mend Kai's car, but I didn't get far. And when I tried to clean the buses again, I saw more oil on the floor. Where was it coming from? And how can I stop it? Now remember, nothing is impossible when you know how. Nothing is impossible when you know how. Hmm. Hang on. What's this? An oil trail. And it's leading all the way to... <gasps> The bus! This oil must be coming from this leaky bus! Right, well, it must need a service. OK, I need to bring a mechanic. Well, that's not impossible. And I know how. Come on, it's a race against time! I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a short sure thing, I promise she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm working I'm gonna do it. She's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat that clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. She's going to sort it. I'm gonna do the There, a nice clean floor and no more leaking oil, thank goodness. And guess what? I managed to fix Kai's toy using the spanner men. <laughs> wow! Look at it go. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Hello, Mummy. Oh, <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. Clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Nothing's impossible when you know how. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on. You'd better be off. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wigging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, jumping up and turning. was really special about today? Well, the children dressed up Claude as an ice skater. Bobby told me that Kai wanted to watch the ice skating on telly later and gave me an alarm clock to remind me when to switch the telly on. Kai gave his mum his favourite car to look after, but it was broken. At eight o'clock, the alarm rang and we switched on the telly. Kai loved the ice skating and tried to skate in his socks. <laughs> he was brilliant. Later, me and Kai played an ice skating game. He fell asleep and I think he was dreaming of going skating with Bobby. In the morning, Bobby had mended his favourite toy car. Do you like fixing things? Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Ellie. But don't just sit there, my wee bricks. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's house today? Hey, Ellie, can you hold it, darling? No. We are going to make a toy train. Here we are, that's us. 
a bit string here, nice bow, and now girls, can you take my toy train for a ride? Choo choo! <laughs> oh my! Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Molly, but someone's missing from home today. <laughs> oh, not anymore! Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Raymond with Lisa. Hello there. Raymond. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh, and Lisa. Oh, so it's a bit dangerous leaving this long train of toys on the floor, Granny Murray. Health and safety, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, a royal train. That's given me an idea. Why don't you dress Claude up? as a different sort of train, a royal train fit for a king. <laughs> oh, and uh, we'll get out from under their feet, Raymond. Would you care to hop aboard the Granny Murray Express? I don't mind if I do. Choo-choo! <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, no probs, just a toy. Oh, Granny Murray, you really should be more careful about leaving toys lying everywhere. <laughs> no, health and safety. Toys can be hazardous. You can trip over toys if they're left on the floor. You should tidy things up as you go along, like I do. Well, that might work very well aboard your train, Raymond. But with a busy house full of children, <laughs> sometimes you need to clean up after others. Mm. Ooh, and Claude looks like a bit of a hazard too in that long train. Oh, I was a wonderful hazard in my wedding day. I had a huge long train, twice as long as Claude's, all white lace and satin. <laughs> oh, it must have been quite a job to wear that. Oh, well, it was for my wee bridesmaids. They had to hold it above their heads. And one was so exhausted, she curled up <laughs> right in the middle of my train and fell fast asleep. Oh, <laughs> well, you'd never find me asleep aboard my train. <laughs> oh, no. Health and safety. Exactly. <laughs> and also, it just wouldn't look good. Well, talking of looking good, look at King Claude. <laughs> Oh my, don't you look a picture in your royal train. Daddy, <laughs> here you go. Oh, thanks, Lise. Oh, <laughs> it's a pullback car. How cool. Oh, well, that's got him excited, Lisa. Come on, off to work with you. <laughs> right, must go. <laughs> now remember, sometimes you need to clear up after others. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm a bit late for work today. Can you tell me a quick way to get there? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Take a take a ticket on the metro. I'll be 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 there quite quick. Hurry 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 on the train lines. Clatter 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 at the points. Whining 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 drives the speed up. Squeaking 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 slows us down. Clatter 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 through the streets now squeaking squeaking to our stop. I'm in 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 a hurry. I really really need to get to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, we're here. But before I can get down to some work, I have to change. So, busy, busy, busy. Ha! All dressed and ready to go. Oh, eight o'clock. On the dot. Excellent. Hello, Raymond. Oh, didn't know you was working on the Molly Moore train today. Oh, yes, I just go what I'm told. So, are you off to see your mum? Yeah, I said I'd give her a handspring cleaning her house today. Mm. That's what this is for, see? Oh, it's this fab new cleaning fluid that we're using at the buses right now. It's brilliant, and it'll make cleaning the house twice as fast. Would you like a bottle? I've got plenty left for mum. Me? No, I have my very own special cleaning liquid that I use on the train. In fact, this is much better than anything you can buy in the shops. Look, one squirt of this, and the stains and dirt are history. <laughs> See? Wow! Mm. Mm, that is very good. But my cleaning fluid is hygienic too. It cuts through grease and oil. Grease and oil? <laughs> I can honestly say that I have never had a problem with grease or oil in my buffet car. Well, I'll leave you a bottle anyway, just in case. 
You never know when it might come in handy. Catch you later. Handy? I very much doubt it. <laughs> Grease and oil indeed. On my boofy car. Now, Lise, let's see how fast your car can go in this new shiny track. Oh! <laughs> I hope you're having as much fun as me at Granny Murray's, Lisa. <laughs> Well done, my darling. Good job. There we are. Oh, could you water the plants now, my angel? Thank you. There we are. Oh, Lisa, we'd better put that rake away in case somebody trips over it, eh, my darling? Thank you. Oh, your daddy would be very proud of you. <laughs> Keeping Granny Murray's garden nice and tidy and safe. Dead to you. Oh, oh! <laughs> you nearly had an accident there, Raymond. Thanks to you, I didn't, Dr. Juno. Can I have a cup of coffee, please, Raymond? Certainly. Oh, I hope this coffee perks me up for my conference on office management. As if I haven't got enough to do helping people get better back at the hospital. Office management is key to the smooth running of any business, Dr. Juno. Oh, really? <laughs> Quite. That's £1.50, please. Okay. Thank you. I think I manage my office quite well, to be honest. Ooh, I've got some pretty neat gadgets. Gadgets? Yeah. I've got an electric stapler. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, almost as cool as this. Oh, an electric hole punch. Oh, efficient and safe too. Yes, safe too. Well, thanks for the coffee. I've got to get off the next stop. <laughs> See ya. And it's high time I got on with some hard work. I love my train. I'm so happy being me. Doing all the things I love to do. Lemonade or tea I'm just very happy serving you Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day Making special moments on my way I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day Bringing smiles and happiness my way Being nice is what I love the most Six looking fine Six will go So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to the street. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way I love my train Oh, <laughs> sorry Mickey John, what can I get for you today? Oh, nothing thanks Raymond, uh, Bobby told me you were working today so I thought I'd pop by and show you this Oh, that's a fantastic model steam engine Mickey John, uh, does it work? Like a dream so, uh, do you fancy trying it out before I leave it at my friend's house in Helen's Brit? You bet. Uh, why don't we give it a run all the way along the floor? Yes, great. Right, I'll fire her up. You go down there and catch it when it comes over. OK. <laughs> right, just oil up the wheels before we let her go. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. It's a shame Lisa isn't here to see it. She would love it. I love to skip in River City Pink, River City Pink, go by the sea. I love to skip in River City Pink, go River City Pink, go that's for me. Can you put that cushion up there? Finish off Granny Murray's racetrack. Well done. Oh, it's exciting. Right, pull it right back. 
it nice and straight. Go. Oh! Oh no! We both crashed. That's a girl. Okay, that was a big crash. We keep it nice and straight. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! <laughs> hey, well done, Lisa. I can see you, Daddy. Do you know, are you okay? Yes, thankfully. Oh, I certainly feel a lot safer if you were a little bit more efficient keeping the rest of your buffet cart as clean as your counter, Raymond. But, Dr. Juno, I, I don't understand. I've been working hard all day, serving my customers, stacking my shelves and making sure everything is clean, tidy and safe. But Dr. Juno nearly did a loop-de-loop. -loop. What did I do wrong? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's and I nearly took a tumble when I tripped over a long train of toys. At eight o'clock, I arrived at work and met with Bobby, who tried to convince me her cleaning fluid was better than mine at shifting grease and oil. <laughs> Imagine, in my buffet car. At eleven o'clock, Dr Juno popped by for coffee and showed me some of her gadgets that helped her run an efficient office. Oh, they were great fun. At one o'clock, Mickey John brought his model steam engine to show me. We let it run along the floor in the boofy car. <laughs> it was brilliant fun. At three o'clock, Dr Juno slept as she rushed to leave the train. She said it was my fault, but how could that be? Now remember, sometimes you need to clean up after others. Sometimes you have to clean up after others. Of course. The floor must have been covered in oil from Mickey John's model steam engine. I should have cleared up after Mickey John. The only thing that will shift that grease and oil is Bobby's cleaning fluid. So it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. He's gonna start it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. You know, Bobby's right. Her cleaning fluid saved bags of time. In fact, I think I've even got time for a nice cup of tea before we have to set back to River Sea Fingal. Oops. Oh no, what was that? Ah. Your coffee took a tumble, did it? <laughs> Not to worry. I have this cleaned up in a jiffy. Ooh, there you are now. <laughs> and I'll just pop over and get you a fresh coffee. <laughs> Perfect. I wonder if my wee scamp is helping Granny Murray keep her house clean. <laughs> or making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, look at your chin. Look at my chin. Oh, me too. Oh dear. What would Daddy say? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, thanks, Lisa. I miss you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's here. Hello, Daddy. Hello, my girl. <laughs> Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Yes. Oh, we certainly did, didn't we, darling? What do you say to Granny Murray? Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. And it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes you have to clean up after others. It saved the day. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking.
Eating, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a king today with a long royal train. Claude's train reminded me of the beautiful train I had worn with my wedding dress. Raymond didn't seem too interested. He was more worried about tripping and sitting on toys and making things safe. Later on, Lisa and I tidied up the garden. Raymond would have approved of Lisa and I putting away the tools safely when we'd finished with them. We had lots of time left to have fun with our model racing cars. They certainly zipped along quickly. Raymond was having fun too, watching Mickey John's steam engine running along the floor of his boofy car. It was lucky too that he remembered in the end that sometimes you need to clear up after others. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs>